all peoples suffering from U.S. imperialist aggression, oppression, and plunder, unite. Hold aloft the just banner of people's war. And fight for the cause of world peace, national liberation, people's democracy, and socialism. Victory will certainly go to the people of the world. These stirring words are from Comrade Lin Biao's work, Long Live the Victory of People's War. In the spirit of the great proletarian cultural revolution, under Comrade Mao's leadership, Long Live the Victory of People's War, the revolutionary fervor and proletarian wisdom of Maoism in command for the world's oppressed and exploited majority. First, the origin and Maoist principles of people's war. The Chinese People's War of Resistance Against Japan occupies an extremely important place in the annals of the wars of the oppressed nations of the world against imperialist aggression. How was it possible for a weak country to defeat the strong country? The basic reason was that the war of resistance against Japan was a genuine people's war led by the Communist Party of China. In the face of Japanese imperialist aggression, was the party to continue with the civil war? Or was it to hold aloft the banner of national liberation? Comrade Mao pointed out that the Japanese imperialist attempt to reduce China to a Japanese colony heightened the contradiction between China and Japan and made it the principal contradiction. The Communist Party of China and Comrade Mao formulated the line of the anti-Japanese National United Front. History shows that, when confronted by ruthless imperialist aggression, a Communist Party must hold aloft the national banner and, using the weapon of the United Front, rally around itself the masses. History also shows that, within the United Front, the Communist Party must maintain its independence and insist on its leading role. The war of resistance against Japan was in essence a peasant, revolutionary war. Our base areas were in fact, a state, in miniature. The revolutionary base areas later became the springboards for the People's War of Liberation. To rely on the peasants, build rural base areas, and use the countryside to encircle and capture the cities. Such was the way to victory in the Chinese Revolution. The special feature of the Chinese Revolution was, armed revolution. The main form of struggle was war, and the main form of organization, was the army, which was under the absolute leadership, of the Chinese Communist Party. Without, a people's army, the people, have nothing. This is the conclusion drawn by Comrade Mao from the Chinese people's experience in their long years of revolutionary struggle. Experience that was bought in blood. Our army staunchly performed the three tasks set by Comrade Mao. Namely, fighting, mass work, and production. And it was at the same time a fighting force, a political workforce, and a production corps. The experience of the People's War in China shows that a people's army, created in accordance with Conrad Mao's theory of army building, is incomparably strong and invincible.
These excerpts are from Comrade Lin Biao's Fort, Long Live the Victory of People's War. Summing up the principles of People's War that led to the glorious victory of the Chinese people over imperialism and reaction. In part two, Comrade Lin shows the absolute necessity of grasping the principles of People's War for the liberation of the world's oppressed and exploited majority.